Welcome to the channel. In this video, I'm going to be going over how you can give yourself rank 100 in zero caliber. Before we get started, take a minute to click the S in the corner to subscribe. I'm trying to get to a thousand subscribers, so that'd be much appreciated. Also like, share, leave a comment. Love to hear your feedback on the video or the game. All that good stuff is appreciated. Let's dig in here. In order to give ourselves rank 100 in zero caliber, we're going to be editing the save files. The save files of zero caliber are in the Unreal Engine format, and therefore we can open them up in a hex editor in order to change some of the values. In order to do that, we're going to have to download a hex editor. I've downloaded HXD, which is a freeware hex editor. There'll be a link in the description. It's great. I highly recommend it. Gets the job done. When you open it, it looks like this, but we don't have any files loaded yet. Next thing we're going to do is find the files that we need to edit. So the save files for zero caliber, at least on my machine, are in C slash users, slash username, in this case subst, slash app data, slash local, slash zero caliber, slash saved, slash save games. That's where you're going to find a bunch of files with the extension .save. We're only interested in a couple of them, but if you back them up, feel free to open others and tweak some values. If I open that directory, you can see there's a save directory and the zero caliber directory. If I open that, we have some further directories and the save games directory. Once I open that up, we're going to see the save files that we're interested in, .sav. So the first save file that we're interested in is save game slot player credits underscore ea dot sav. So this is the file that stores how many in-game credits you have, your amount of cash. And we're going to change that to 1 million or 999,999. So we'll do that first by backing up the file. So we'll just copy and paste the file, find it in here, slot player credits slot player credits right there. So control C, control V. So we have a copy. That's our backup. HXD will also make a backup, but I like to do it manually as well. So we'll just drag the file into HXD. And in HXD, we have the hexadecimal representation of the file on this side. And we have kind of the ASCII uh, string representation of the file on this side. What we're looking for is towards the bottom. These files aren't very long. We're looking for player credits struct. You can see that string here. And then below that, we can see credits three. After that, we can see int property. That means it's an integer property. And now we can see the hexadecimal bytes that we've selected. We're interested in editing the value that comes after int property. So we're going to position our cursor in the hexadecimal section just past int property and you can see it's selected over here the character just past int property we're going to go past the four and we're going to count eight past the four so that's one two three four five six seven eight so now you can see we're on zero zero but the next value is six five two eight and that's the hexadecimal representation of the amount of in-game credits that we have so we're going to change that 6528 to our own value, which is going to represent just under 1 million. And that's 3F420F00. So I make sure my cursor is positioned right at the 65. And the 65 is going to be different in your save file. It depends how many credits you have in your save file. But the important thing is you're going to look for those eight sets of two zeros past the 04 past int property. And you'll see some value here. And you're going to replace that with 3F420F00. And that's going to give us a million credits in game. Although we might not need them. I think at rank 100, everything's free. But don't quote me on that. I haven't done a lot of experimentation at that rank. So you can see that the items that we've changed, characters that we've changed, are highlighted in red. We're going to Press Control S to save, and now they're no longer highlighted. That change has been committed. We're done with this file. We've given ourselves the credit. So I'll go ahead and close this file. The next file we're interested in is Save Game Slot Player Rank. And we're going to change two values in this file. 
So we'll find the rank file, we'll copy it and paste it. So you can see here, there's a backup file, BAK now, of that last file we just edited because HXD made that backup. So we actually have two backups of that file, and then the .save file is the edited file, which is going to get loaded up in the game next time we run it. So we just copied player rank, so that's backed up as well, and we're going to drag save game slot player rank underscore EA dot save into HXD. Now we're going to change two values in this file. We're going to change the rank and the experience. So first we're going to change our rank to 99. The process is very similar. We're going to look for a string like rank 7, maybe rank 8, maybe rank 9. I haven't done a lot of investigation into what all these values mean, but we're going to do basically the same thing we did with the last file is we're going to look for the string int property after rank number and we're going to go past int property and there's going to be a 00 and a 04 and then we're going to count 8 past that 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 and you can see here that we have a 4 a 04 that means I'm at currently at rank 4 now that's going to change when you get higher because it's a hexadecimal representation but um, as far as 4 is concerned, a 4 is a 4. So we're going to change that to 99, which is a 63. So we're just going to change that to 63. I screwed that up. I put the text in the string portion of the file because that's what was highlighted. I can just control Z to undo that. We want to make sure that you're highlighted in the hexadecimal portion of the file in order to enter these because we're entering them in hexadecimal format. So I want to make sure the 04 is highlighted there, and that's where the cursor is. And then we can go ahead and type in our 63. We can do the 00, it doesn't matter, there are already zeros there, so that's not going to change anything. But the important thing is, we entered the 63. And that's going to give us a rank of 99. So we can see again that the 63 is a change. That's the only change we want to see in this file. Everything else is not highlighted. So we can go ahead and save that. The next thing we're going to do to this file is change the experience. I'm not sure if this is required, but we're going to do it anyways. So we want to look for the similar string, which is just above rank, which is XP underscore. Scroll up a bit here. There we go. XP underscore four in my case. It's probably going to be something different in your save file. But again, we're going to scan past the XP underscore four to the int property string that's just past it. We're going to go to the zero four and count eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And in this case, we have CB2E. So that's the hexadecimal representation of the experience our player has in the game. And we're going to change that to just over a million. That seems to be what the game wants to do. So we're going to go ahead and change it to that, which is seen here, 94F71400. So back to here, we want to make sure that we're past int property, we're past the four, eight sets of two zeros representing bytes, and now we have our number we're going to replace with 94F71400. So again, we see our change in red, we can double check, we're going to go ahead and save that to commit it. And now we've given our save file a million credits, basically a million experience, and we've given ourselves rank 100. So we can go into the armory and just go buck wild, pick out whatever we want and take it for a spin. Well, here we are. We've loaded up zero caliber after editing our save files, and we're going to head down to the armory and see if we were successful. You can already see there that we've got over a million experience, we've got rank 100 and almost a million dollars. And if we go down to the armory, well, we can go hog wild. Everything is unlocked. So we can just grab whatever we want off the shelf and give her. Personally, I'm a big fan of the Chris Vector here, so just grab that. Oh, 
Also, we can let's check out the, the green meanie here. Grab some accessories. Sky's the limit. If you haven't checked this game out, I highly recommend it. They're also doing a port or a release for Quest Native this month called Zero Caliber Reloaded. So be sure to check that out. And if you haven't already, take a minute to click the S in the corner to subscribe. I'm trying to get to a thousand subscribers, so that'd be much appreciated. Also like, share, leave a comment. All that good stuff is appreciated. Thanks for watching. And we'll see you next time. I don't know what's going on with the sights for this.